Hello there, everybody! Welcome back to the YouTube channel of JJ Prime Reviews. So today, I will be taking a look at the Transformers Titans Return Legends class kickback. Yes, it's the final Insecticon from the Prime Wars trilogy toy line. Finally, I got him. Finally, yes. So <laughs> let's get down to the review table and see what the big deal is for this figure. So let's get it on, man. Let's go. But before we take a look at the figure, it's always nice to take a look at the packaging, right? So you have nice, beautiful artwork there for kickback. <laughs> he's like, he's, look at his hands. He's like, <laughs> you can see there are a lot of kickbacks. What? Why? Why is there only so many kickbacks? So there should be only one kickback. Anyway, so you can see Transformers. Generations, your Titans return. His name is Kickback. Of course, he's a Decepticon. He's a Legends class, a class of Legendes, a class of Legendas, and a class of Legendaria. Anyway, so and then you come to the back of the box here. Yes, yeah, his name is Kickback, and you have your one sentence bio. This Insecticon, yeah, the tongue has malfunctioned again. Do I really need to see a doctor about this? Man. Anyway, <laughs> so let's try to read this again. This Insecticon lures allies. Or no. I, I can't even read that. Anyway, um, let's try to let's try to read that again. Anyway, this Insecticon lures allies, then turns on them for its own gain. That's pretty cool. And got his robot mode, he got his insect mode, nine steps, and says what what is this? Includes the figure, collector card, and instructions. So and then you have the Titans Return logo right there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the packaging itself. And of course, this packaging includes the Collector's card. Anyway, so <laughs> there you have the uh, the nice, beautiful artwork there for kickback right there on the card. That's pretty cool. I do quite like that. And he's still doing the rare. <laughs> you got the kickback right there. Titans return, and got your text specs for kickback if that interests you. So yeah. So yeah. So that's pretty much it for the collector's card itself. Okay, so here is Kickback fully transformed into his insect mode. It actually looks like a grasshopper you know, to me. It looks like, yeah, it's definitely a grasshopper, but a really nice uh, black and purple grasshopper. Pretty cool with some uh, nice yellow paint for the eyes right there. And a nice translucent yellow plastic for the wings right there. And got the translucent yellow plastic right here for this uh, this top piece. And uh, pretty cool. And um, <laughs> so um, his transformation is not really all that elaborate because, you know, because mainly what Kickback does, like what, how the original G1 toy transforms, just lays on his back, you know, more legs come out, and there you go. It's already in the insect mode. <laughs> Which is uh, pretty funny. Pretty, pretty funny. But, um... But yeah, it's it's still a nice looking, uh, 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 yeah, nice looking insect mode. I will say, Decepticon symbol right there as well. Got some nice yellows right there, nice silver paint right here at the sides. Yeah, pretty cool. And then you can see the horns, these antenna. They're done in a nice, a uh, uh, soft rubbery plastic, so you don't have to worry about breaking it. Um, my only issue with this uh, yellow paint right here, I think it could have uh, it could have used a second coat because you can kind of see the black bleeding through the yellow and there I'm kind of fearful for it to chip off but then, <laughs> but yeah it definitely could have used a little bit more paint you know it, it's like it, you can see the, the black is literally bleeding through the yellow but yeah, it is what it is but um but yeah um you have articulation in this mode uh kinda you have ball joints right here you can actually move these hind legs if you want to you can unlock the knees if you want to just bend them like that if you want to do it but that's more robot mode uh, you can move this uh, like that if you want to you can use this hinge if you want to but that's due to that's due to transformation and uh, yeah you can actually position the wings however you want with this ball joint you know you can use this hinge you can use that right there it, it just you can position however you want um, and you can actually move down his head a little bit, but that's gonna that's going to uh, reveal the robot mode face <laughs> accidentally. But eh, it is what it is. But but still, I do quite like 
this insect mode. It's it's my last final Insecticon form from the Prime War Strategy line, and I am so happy that I got him because here's the thing. Here's here's one story that I'm gonna tell you. Um, now it took me five long years to get this guy. Okay, this guy was originally released in 2016 during Time's Return, and um. I, I didn't get him back then because, you know, I was in Hong Kong and I actually visited the uh, the biggest Toys R Us shop ever, which was like 37,000 square feet and that equals to like 7 or 8 um, basketball courts, I think so, yeah, 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 and about 7 or 8 basketball courts and it was huge, it's like literally huge. So I went to the Transformer section and I actually saw him and uh, Shark Takan Na together, but and I could only choose one of them, and I could choose one a RD 2015 Legion class figure as well. So I got two two figures for for that Christmas uh, period. Um, I, uh, I I chose Sharktacon Naw because I really wanted a Sharktacon in my collection, so I chose him first. And then um, I, I then I went back to my own country. Then I decided, you know what, let's go kick get kicked back first. But then I tried finding him. I I mean I saw him once in my uh, regular toy shop. Uh, uh, one toy M Corp Mall. I, I, I did see him there, but I did not get him because I wanted something else <laughs> during that time. But um, so I tried finding him and, and no luck. Still no luck finding him. But now when it comes to 2021, you, you see the last one in stock in one of the online shops because I got this guy from My Hobby Toys, and uh, it was the last one in stock. And I was like, whoa, it's the last kickback in stock. You know what? Immediately buy it. Just click the buy button. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Five years. Five. Five years anyway. So. <laughs> but hey, I'm glad that I finally got kicked back. You know, uh, I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad. But anyway, so. Let, uh, anyway, before we get down to some size comparisons, now he does have compatibility with a, a Titan Master. So I'm gonna get a Titan Master. So I'll be right back. Okay, I have returned, so I have a Titan Master with me right now, so I have Terrible right here. So, what you're supposed to do is that you open up this piece right here, and you can see there are two little posts right there. So, th that is supposed to make, and then you got two ports like on the bottoms of the Titan Master's feet, and you're just supposed to uh, make it sit down like right in there, and for some reason, it doesn't want to fit. I don't know why. It, maybe it's because the camera's on. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna do this off camera, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I got the Titan Master sitting on top of kickback. So yeah, you can ha actually have a Titan Master uh, riding the bug, so that's pretty cool. So I'm just gonna take off the Titan Master right now, and he doesn't want to let go. Yeah, let go, there we go. Let's close this up. And, okay, so now we can move on to some size comparisons. Here is Kickback compared with his wavemate Sharktacon Naw. And here is Kickback compared with his other Insecticon teammates. He has been reunited with his Insecticon brothers. Uh, it took me long enough to, to, oh man, it took me so long to get this guy so that he can reunite with his brothers Bombshell and Scrapnel or Shrapnel, whatever you want to call them. So, um, but yeah, they look quite good together, I will say, and that's a lot of bugs. <laughs> yeah, that is a lot of bugs, so um, the bugs have been, have infested my house. Oh, I gotta get out of here. I gotta evacuate right now. Anyway, <laughs> it's a bug infestation. Anyway. <laughs> So uh, yeah, they look really really nice together, really nice looking team of Insecticons and if Studio Series 86 do deluxe size Insecticons, I would totally buy them because I would love to have more bugs in my collection, so that would be pretty cool. So, alright, so let's move on to the final size comparison. And last but not least, here is Kickback compared with his G1 counterpart, G1 Kickback, and uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that 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 that's a nice comparison right there between the G1 toy and the present. So <laughs> yeah, night and day between these two figures. Anyway, so that's pretty much it for the alt mode comparisons.
Okay, so I think we are pretty much done with the bug mode itself. So, I think it's time to transform Kickback into his robot mode. Let's do it. So, what you do here is you want to bring down his butt, just, <laughs> just split the arms like so right now. And now you want to work on the legs. So the legs have a pretty cool transformation here. So just bring this up and just bring this down on this hinge right there. And that will become, you know, just cover up his leg right there. Just fill in the gaps right there. And that's pretty cool. I do quite like that piece of transformation right there. So just bring this up and just bring this down. And there we go. And that's pretty cool. I do quite like that very very much so there you have the legs pretty much all done and ready so now you want to take the uh, the buck legs right here just bring them back on this hinge bring them back you want to rotate the wings up like so rotate the wings up like so and there you have that so now it's bring out the arms and they will tab into place tap that into place there we go just rotate this at the elbow so the elbows are into properly there we go just bring this up let's bring this down and just rotate this around and you want to bring bring the uh, the bug head back like so and just bring this up and just rotate his head 180 and I think we're done are we done yes we are done so there you have kick back fully transformed into his rare bots mode and he looks pretty good i do quite like the robot mode on this guy really really cool um uh one major problem i have with this figure is that the the hips are a bit loose so eh, so he kind of has a tendency to uh to do the splits on me but <laughs> that is sometimes but eh, for now he's not gonna do this to the splits but anyway but yeah pretty cool robot mode i will say pretty nicely done but yeah let's get in close here so we can take a look at that face sculpt if my camera will focus there we go uh some nice silver paint on the face and got nice silver paint up here uh, would have been nice if his visor was painted red but ah oh, well it is what it is and uh yeah pretty cool the subcon symbol on the chest as well yeah pretty cool and his backpack <laughs> so yeah pretty nicely done robot mode design i will say nice silver paint right here on the legs as well and uh yeah, pretty cool. Um, uh, I wish his arms were a little bit uh, thicker because yeah, it looks kind of a little bit skinny and lanky. It's just, uh, just, eh, it just doesn't. Mm. But um, but still, from the front, it looks really really good. I, I do quite like this figure. I do quite like him. So, yeah. Now, articulation wise on this figure, on this uh, on this mode, uh, his head can actually rotate a full 360. It can use this hinge to. Uh, have his head look up, which is pretty cool. Um, the arms can do a, er, they can't, they can technically do a full 360. You gotta go like, like uh, out first and then rotate a full 360. They can move in and out. You do have a rotation at the elbow. You do have an elbow joint right there, uh, about 90 degrees of bend. Uh, no waist swivel, unfortunately. The legs are on the ball joint. Can move up that far. Can move back only that far. And he can do the, do the full splits. And you can actually unlock the knees. You have the knee joint right there because there is a little clip right there. So, so you have to lock them in to make the leg straight. So yeah, if you want to use the knee joint, you have to unlock the knees and just bend the knees like, like that. So and it bends like slightly over 90 degrees right there. And uh, yeah, you have a rotation as well at the knee. But once you lock it into place, you can't do the rotation anymore. So yeah, and uh, the feet can technically move up due to transformation and uh, that's pretty much it and his legs are pretty much uh, molded in a way of that a stand so that natural a stand so that's pretty cool so yeah so that is pretty much it for the articulation uh does he include any other accessories no um kind of wish he had his gun but eh, it is what it is it's okay it's fine and oh yeah you can actually position the wings however you want but i think for proper transformation you have to leave the wings up like that i believe so anyway so yeah yeah pretty cool pretty cute so let us move on to some size comparison stand up man here is kickback compared with his wave mate shark Nah, with the rest of his insecticon teammates got power to prime scrap and combiner wars bombshell and they look quite good together um 
It's quite unfortunate that this chest piece is translucent plastic because the these two, they have opaque chest pieces, so it doesn't really, really match up. But still, they look really good together, and I can't wait for Studio Series 86 to release their own uh, Insecticon figures. Um, I think they would look really good, they, they would look very cartoon accurate. But yeah, but as of now, as, we're, as of today, we finally completed the Prime Wars Trilogy Insecticons, and it took me five years to do so. <laughs> um, so, yay, yay, finally. Finally we got kicked back. Yay! They finally reunited. Oh, it's a family. It's a family. So <laughs> let's move on to the final size comparison for today. And last but not least, here is Kickback compared with G1 Kickback. And uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's like standing straight, all stock straight, and this guy looks so much better than this. <laughs> But don't worry, I'll I'll do a review on these G1 Insecticons in the in the future. Got nice that that nice chrome. Ooh, it's shiny, it's shiny. Anyway, so <laughs> that is pretty much it for the robot mode comparisons. Okay, so here are my final thoughts on the Transformers Titans Return Legends class kickback. And uh, yeah, really nicely done figure in my opinion. Um, this is only uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, um, I got like um, some issues, like some like nitpicks with this figure for me. Um, it's like the uh, the arms are a little bit too skinny. I think I thought, you know, I think it could be a little bit thicker, but it is what it is. And also the hip joints are kind of a bit loose. So yeah, um, it's I mean, it's easy to fix that. You can actually fix that with the uh, the floor, floor polish or put some tissue inside and make it tighter. So. And that's the thing you can do to fix the, the joints. Uh, that that one I can remedy that uh, that that mistake that issue. So yeah, I can I can fix that issue very very easily. So um, but yeah, but yeah, the arms eh, I feel like yeah, it could have been thicker. But but still all around, it's a nicely done figure. The robot mode looks really good. The bug mode looks really really good. And there's some nice paint all around as well. Got some nice yellow, got black, got silver, got some nice silver right here as well. And uh, yeah, pretty pretty cool, I will say. Uh, the articulation is actually pretty pretty good. You know, you can actually pose him really nicely. You can see I'm posing him in a nice decent pose, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, the transformation is nice and easy. So yeah, overall, it's an it's an enjoyable figure to mess with, and uh, I do quite like it. I do I do quite like it, and. Um, I'm glad I got this guy because, you know, he was the only other Insecticon that I needed to complete the Prime Wars Trilogy Insecticons, and I finally did it! Yay! Finally completed the trio of Insecticons, so, yay, he has been re- Blah, 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 the tongue has malfunctioned again. <laughs> what I was trying to say is that he has reunited with his brothers, yay, his family of Insecticons, yay! The family has been reunited as at last, finally. <laughs> So, yeah, so if I were to rank this guy from a scale of 1 to 10, I think I would just give him a good 8 out of 10. So yeah, and yeah, he gets an 8 out of 10. Really good figure. I, I, I would highly recommend this figure. If you don't have him, go get him. Go get him. If, 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 just immediately get him. If he's the last guy in stock somewhere or in online stores anywhere, go get him. He's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Unless you want to wait for a for an SS86 Deluxe Class kickback, which might happen in the future, I don't know, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> so, all right. So uh, I think that's pretty much it for today's video review. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you are completely new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it. Click that notification bell icon down below as well so that you know when my new videos are up and ready. And you can always check out my Power of the Primes reviews playlist for any videos you may have missed. So I'll post a link to that playlist in the description down below right there. And for for your other Transformers needs, you can always check out BigBadToysRs.com if you're if you're in the US or anywhere, whatever, if you're overseas. <laughs> you can always use uh, BigBadToysRs.com. So I will post a link to that website in the description down below as well. And if you have enjoyed this video review, do me a favor and slam dunk a like on it. I will appreciate that very, very much. And, 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 oh yeah, I forgot to, uh, 
I, uh, did I say where I got this from? I think I did. So um, if I didn't, uh, I'm gonna say this again. So I got this from my hobby toy. So I, I, I ordered it from my hobby toys. So that's where I got it. So, um, but yeah. So uh, yeah. So I think that is pretty much it for me to say. So there you have the Transformers Titans Return Legends class kickback. And this is JJ Prime signing off. Peace out. <laughs>